Hello, it's Karen here from UK Scrap Addicts with my take on this month's theme, which is monochrome. The colours I chose for my page were mint green, black and white. And as you can see, I've pulled out everything in my stash of that colour. There were stickers, buttons, I've pulled out a couple of cards, some paper. Um, not all the paper is expensive paper, some of it is cheap and cheerful paper from Wilco's and the range. So I don't always scrap with expensive stuff. But fortunately, in amongst my stash, I also had some Kaisercraft mint wishes, which was perfect. So I'd got these couple of pieces of paper and also two um, sticker sheets, which I thought the borders would be absolutely perfect for my page. The next stage in my scrapbooking process is to do a quick sketch. The end product doesn't necessarily look like the sketch, but it's a good starting point. Then I cut half an inch from the top on one side of a piece of black cardstock. I cut this month's free cuts file on my silhouette and stuck it to the page with temporary hammer and used opaque texture paste, which is a crackle paste, to um, fill in the gaps. I found with this crackle paste, it's the thicker you do it, the better it looks. I carefully peeled off the paper, leaving just the crackle paste and the crackle paste takes probably about half an hour to completely dry and crackle as much as you would want it to and this is what it looks like when it's completely dry I used some cosmic shimmer in a mint colour to add some spots to my crackle paste so I flicked it on and it seeped into the cracks, leaving quite a pretty pattern. The next stage was to stick my black cardstock onto a piece of mint cardstock, leaving a quarter of an inch border all around. As you can see, I cut a pretty Polaroid frame for my photograph using a silhouette file. <clears throat> then I started trying out different sorts of paper to see which I liked. The two strips I'm inserting now are actually cut from a 6x6 six six pad, but it doesn't really matter because the join will be covered by the photograph. Once I was happy with how the paper looked, I added a flower sticker across the centre of the horizontal piece and also a doily sticker to the bottom of the same piece. The word stickers from the two sticker sheets were Christmas themed, so I had to chop them up and mix them about to make a little set of journaling strips that weren't Christmas themed. Decided to add another of those doily stickers to the top of the horizontal strip. And once my page was finally finished, I added the title, Believe, and a few green gems. Thank you for watching and I'll be back next month with another process video. In the meantime, why don't you pop back soon to see what the other talented UK scrap addict ladies have in store for you.